We asked Jeff Skunk Baxter about one of my favorite Steely Dan songs, Reeling in the Ears. Why didn't he do the solo on that? And keep in mind, the brand new album is Speed of Heat. It's brand new from Jeff Skunk Baxter. There'll be links in the description where you can pick it up and links to the entire interview with Jeff. Um, how, why did Elliot Randall do the solo and Reeling in the Ears? It, 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 was that like the beginning or a germ of, of Walter and Donald just having this vision of what the song, I mean, what, how did that happen? Well, Elliot was a friend of mine. I mean, we'd played together when we were kid, kids, meaning, you know, when we were teenagers. Or, so uh, it just made sense. I mean, I, had, I have no problem. Again, I'm a studio guy, right guy for the job. And I thought he did an incredible job. There were other songs that Denny played on, which was killer. And then there were songs that, that was right for me. So again, I just look at it as from a, a professional music standpoint, it was the right guy for the job. So ego hasn't gotten in your way of getting done what you needed to get done, it sounds like, because I hear ego, even though people don't say that word when I talk to them. I mean, I'm 62, I've interviewed a lot of people I love, but why isn't that part of your software? Well, we all have an ego. And I think, <clears throat> yeah, but does, it, it doesn't sound like it got in your way of getting to do what you had to do, though. Well, I think maybe it was my upbringing. My father had taught me that the most important thing is doing a great job. And nothing should stand in the way. And we're all human, of course. And, I, and I'm not, you know, the perfect, you know, egoless person sailing through the, the world. And if you're, one of the things my dad did teach me was how to channel energy. I mean, he wasn't a guru. He was senior vice president of the world's largest advertising agency. But the idea being that to be creative, there are things that will waste your energy. There are things that will draw off your energy, ego being one of them. So if you have this feeling, channel that into doing a great job. Use that force. Use the force, Luke. Um, it's May 4th, by the way. It's May, 4th. it's May 4th, so it's May the 4th be with you today anyway. That's right. So I guess I took my dad's advice to heart. And um, it also leaves you less vulnerable because i think if you're driven by your ego it creates sometimes situations that will eventually affect you in a negative manner it's like again my dad taught me that if i'm faced with a problem my first thought should be wow this is cool uh yeah Okay. As opposed to, oh God, what am I going to do? You know, waste of energy. Yeah. Waste of time. Yeah. Absolutely. Speed of Heat is the brand new album from Jeff Skunk Baxter. There'll be links in the description where you can pick up the album. Also links to the entire interview on our sister channel, Rock History Book. Remember, like all our videos, it makes a big difference as far as viewership is concerned. Subscribe to our channel because we're trying to reach 100,000 this summer. Comment on the videos and, of course, share those videos. We'll have more from Jeff Skunk Baxter in about two, three days. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.